What's going on everybody? This is LemonDrop14 here. Hey, sorry it's been a long time again. Had um a lot of stuff going on in my life actually, which is kind of exciting. Uh but I'll get into that later. But right now you're watching my new video, which is kinda cool. Um it's not a NASCAR one, so hey, hold on to your britches. We're changing it up. Um it's actually the world of out uh outlaws, I can talk. Uh sprint cars. Um basically it's um Essentially, like the NASCAR games, but the only difference is really that obviously it's open wheel. The format's a little bit different with like the career mode, but it, basically all I'm doing is going through the career mode. So, I think there's 36 events, and then there's like some oddball challenges that I'll try and do. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead and get started right now. All right. Um, okay, there's one of 40 races. Okay, so it'll be a 40 episode. Uh, yeah, neat. Okay, so, um, I guess we'll get started. Select. Okay, race one, Dirt Car Nationals, night one. I want, I thought there was a way to, there we go, appearance. Naha. Oh, so this is my car already? I don't want green on the car. Uh, we'll go blue and white. Give me a sweet, cool pattern here. All right, they're all locked. That's cool. Okay, we'll just go with swoop. Whatever. We are keeping number 14, though. Sponsors. Oh, yeah. You unlock these by doing those challenges that I mentioned before. But, oh, and this is like the garage for um, upgrades and whatnot. And I think you can actually buy, yeah, like these locked things or paint jobs, I think. Anywho, you guys don't care about that right now. Right now, we're going to go to Volusia. Volusia, Volusa, whichever way you want to see it. Um, it's kind of weird because they start off the season, the first three races in a row are all at Volusa. So, you guys are going to get a heavy dose of this track right off the bat. But that's okay. Um, it is a fun one. I'm going to go ahead and do the hot laps because um, I don't remember. <laughs> I remember how to play this, but it's been a good while, so I'm going to need some help. Basically, if you guys aren't familiar with this format, with um, heat races, dashes, B mains, and features. Um, any Saturday night track, a local track, is going to have this format essentially. The hot laps is basically just practice session. The time trial would be like qualifying. And based on your, quali your qualifying time, you get spotted into each heat race. And the heat race is like the top two or three from each um, go straight to the A main. And they also make it to the dash. And if you're in the dash and you win that, then you start first in the feature. Um, if you do horrible in your heat races, you have to race into the B main. And the B main is like a loser's bracket, if you will. But like the first and second place finishers there get to go to the big race at the end. But hopefully we don't have to do any B mains and we'll just dominate everything all the time. Oh, and there's not a difficult setting on this game, so... Um, like there's no way to change it to hard or easy or what have you. It's all just the game. So hopefully, um, I don't destroy everyone. That'd be kind of boring, which I really don't think that's going to happen. But Velusa, it might, but I promise it won't happen like that every time. But let's try it. All right. Six laps. I feel like I can just flat foot it. Oh, did not turn off my notifications. <laughs> See, that's how you know it's been a while. That doesn't happen. Online, I'm appearing offline. Notifications. Get my face. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, green flag right when I... Nice. Alright, now if you guys have ever seen any kind of dirt race, you know there's two different lines you can run. The high side or the low side. High side being where you stick the right rear right up on the cushion, as I'm doing right now. The idea there is to just get momentum and carry it down the back stretch. Or you can do this here and just be a bottom feeder. Whoa! Washed up the. Yeah. I was gonna try and do a bottom feeder line, which means I just stick to the bottom the best I can. Um, but it's not sticking down low. Ooh, kiss that wall. It's okay. But as the track gets broken in through the night, um, it'll get better down there. Which is actually kind of cool because this game does follow real life stuff like, um,. Uh, like during the race, you'll get different lines that come in and go away. So you may have to switch up your lines and all that cool stuff. But right now I'm essentially just flat-footing this. So that's kind of boring. 
it's kind of weird because the first track you're on is by far the easiest track but that's okay because there's definitely difficult tracks that I'm not good at like um it's called like Williamsburg or Williamsboro something like that and it's like a hairpin and oh my gosh I can't do that track oh hit that wall again but hopefully we'll whoa we'll um do all right but that's a few races away from now Oop, kiss that wall again man <clears throat> but oh if you guys were wondering um I don't know why you would run, random wonder <laughs> words are easy I don't know why you'd randomly be wondering this but these are similar to the cars I did used to race so I feel like I have some kind of an idea about dirt stuff not a whole lot I've raced them I don't know eight years maybe seven years I don't know not these cars they were different they were a little bit smaller because I was younger obviously couldn't have a 15 year old doing a full-size sprint car that wouldn't fly I don't think so <laughs> uh, but all right we're gonna go ahead and fly over to our time trials and depending on how this first video goes lengthwise I may break them up um, I mean I'm gonna break up the Velusa events rather but I'm gonna see if I will do what I do in the NASCAR races where I just completely take out everything except qualifying in the future but we'll find out because this I think these are more interesting than NASCAR races just because they're more exciting in my opinion oh no don't really want to run the middle of the track that's not exactly the fastest way but we're gonna try and run a standard oval line High in the straights, low in the corners. Uh, eh, probably shouldn't have let it drift that far. Whoa! Ooh, that car, that bit in the corner. <laughs> it's okay though. So right now, the car is not wanting to kick out. It's wanting to just drive straight through the corners. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw some stagger on the car which basically stagger is the difference in size between the right rear and the left rear so let's say one of them is 10 inches around and the other one's 15 then you have positive 5 stagger I mean it's it's kinda hard to judge like the you can have 10 stagger on two tiny tires or two huge tires as long as the difference is 10 you're gonna have the same oh cool I uh, qualified first noise I'm gonna go ahead and tune this though uh, stagger there we go like right now don't tell me how much I have, but we're gonna jack it up a little bit. Uh, tire type, get me some. Okay, I got the hard compound right rear, right height. Uh, let's jack up the rear torsion bars. Ah, oh, I don't want to get into all this. Gear ratio. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I want to. Yeah. I'm gonna drop it and try and carry the momentum better. Tire pressure. We want to raise that a little bit. Wing adjustment. Okay, we'll just leave it. We'll see how this heat race goes. Hopefully, it goes sweet and dominate like, dominate like, dominating like. I swear, it's not even that late and I can't talk. So. Oh, but if you guys are wondering, I am gonna continue the NASCAR series. Don't worry. I'm just gonna. It kind of kills itself to me just because you can only do so many NASCAR races in a row and you're just like mm, come on but hopefully this will be the nice little change up I would need oh cool I'm starting next to the other 14 car Jason Mayers Mayers Myers whatever you want to call that <clears throat> oh and if you guys are noticing there's mud on the screen that's because in sprint cars, much like in NASCAR, you can have tear-offs, except they're on the visor to your helmet. Oh! Yeah! Bumpity bump. Oh, I did not want to do... Oh, sweet mercy! There we go. <clears throat> and basically, get crowded with mud, I can just somehow take the... How do I use a tear-off? Is it X? Nah, it was X. Okay. I do have a limited number, though. I do have... I think it's three... Yeah, that's what that indicator is down there. Ooh. Lost my... Yeah! Lost my run. They're under me, though. Uh, hopefully, I can just make it work out here. Work it. I'll try and do in-car view. 
see how that goes for me. Oh, sweet mercy. Oh, no, I shouldn't have looked left. Hmm. Not a big fan of that, just because I'm not super familiar with the game. But we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like I'm going to whoa walk away. Oh, and that guy has fire over him, which means he's not okay with me right now. Probably because I passed him a little dirty by bumping him. But it's a dirt track, so get used to hitting each other. And the key is, if you're going to bump into someone, line up your wheels to their wheels. Um, it may seem kind of obvious, but some people may not know also. I mean, obviously you lock wheels, and that's a bad idea. Um, or if you hit nerf bars, that's no good. Oh, kiss that wall again. <laughs> I remember learning that when I was in quarter midgets. I was like seven or eight. Um, <laughs> they were they were open wheel cars, and my dad's friend Warren, who was he was actually a professional sprint car driver. But anyway, he his daughter raced with us, and me and her were racing and we got in a wreck I w it wasn't with her but she was in the same race and basically um, something happened and I tried to swerve and miss the guy and I just t-boned him and jacked up my right front wheel it was a bad idea and Warren's like hey if you're gonna hit someone it was either line up your bumper or line up your tires I was like oh, okay cool so I'm sure you guys care deeply about that but <laughs> <laughs> There's downtime, okay? Okay. Okay, there we go. By finishing first in your heat, you have earned a spot in the dash. You will start from the first position. Nice! Oh, and if I was feeling really good about myself, I could just skip straight to the uh, heat races. And I would start dead last in the fourth one, which means I better get to getting, because if I don't, um, I'm going to be screwed, um, because... Obviously, if I don't do well, I have to go to the B main. But, all right, dash. Donnie shots. Ooh, is that the king behind me? <gasps> it is Steve Kinzer. I don't have my Kinzer shirt on. What am I wearing? Oh, I'm wearing a Truex Jr. shirt. That's okay. <clears throat> Floor it. <clears throat> Hard charger. This guy, first to first. Whoa. Someone's coming up on me fast. No, nope, I'm just crazy. Oh, I'm walking away already. Uh, looks like it's going to be one of those sort of events. Because I can flat foot this car, and it's not even really a challenge, unfortunately. But I do promise they will get more and more exciting. It just stinks that the first three events are all here. Because really what it is, it's a long weekend in real life, so it's like three races or three full nights or whatever, which is neat. But not very entertaining if you're playing it on an X-Pax. But I wish they would make a new sprint car game, because this came out in like 2009 or 2010, somewhere in that neighborhood. And just think of like Ushinex would drop the NASCAR crap for a little bit, or make a really good NASCAR game, either way. But, like, imagine if they, or, like, Turn 10, did a sprint car game. That'd be awesome. Like, the real physics with the flipping and the cars crashing and whatnot. That'd be neat. Or, like, Codemasters, like, take a break from Grid. That'd be cool. Wait, did Codemasters do Grid? Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, because they also did Dirt. Woohoo! Used up the whole track on that corner. Uh, dominating fashion. It says I've been overtaken three. Oh, because <laughs> I didn't start first in the one thing. Yeah. Okay, you finish in the death. That means you will start in the A feature for the first position on the grid. Noise. Mm, I'm not sure if they have intros here of any kind, but we will find out. I feel like this is taking excessively long to load. Maybe I'm just impatient. There's always that issue. 
Hmm. So yeah, oh, because they do the parade lap with their four wide, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, don't care. <laughs> uh, who am I starting next to right now? I guess I could have looked at the intros. Oh, uh, Mayors again. Hmm. Oh, he gave me a little shot there. It's all right. Make it interesting. Ah! Bump you, buddy. How many? Okay, we got a 30 lap race. I need to chill out right now. Just be patient. Uh, oh, he's going to let me go low on him. Oh, can I get shots too? Oh, maybe. Oh, lost it down low. Ooh. See, I tried. I didn't want to hit him there because it's too early to be racing that way. Hmm. Car's not biting in the corner like it was. Oh, there we got him. Good run out of the corner. And they are gone. Whoa, Sam Hafertip Jr. has a fast lap. Oh, I just blew it out of the water, though. Meh. Oh, I should quit looking at times. If you guys are wondering, yes, it is possible to run out of tear-offs. And yes, I have done it before. I remember it vividly because it kind of blew. Because it was all like, hey, you want to look? You've got three laps. And of course, I wasn't like by myself. I was in a pack. Oh, and since um, I'm kind of dominating right now, and I feel like that's going to happen in these next two events, whoa, um, I'm going to try and do some cool passes. Not just like that one, because that wasn't very clean, but... Oh, boy. Really jacked up the front of my car. <laughs> I was trying to go around him, but I like didn't slide up as much as I thought I was going to by itself. I need to quit hitting the wall right now. Oh, dang. Oh, my right rear is having a bit of an issue. That's no good for me. Oh, there we go. Slide job right in front of him. Oh, I hit the Y button thinking I was going to look backwards. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll tell you what, you hit that indent thing, that will hurt the car. Not that the damage model is very accurate in this game whatsoever. Still, though, the less um, smacking around you do, the better, obviously. I might just fast forward some of this stuff. I don't know. Whoa. That's something I might experiment with in this um, uh, series, the Outlaws. Maybe I'll do some voiceover stuff instead of the live talking. That may make it more interesting. That way you guys don't have to sit through a long video of me just cranking laps off. Although we are getting into another pack of cars here, so that might be interesting. Um, they're running high and low. We'll see how outside lane's gonna move here, I think. And by move, I mean be faster. Oh, look at me being dead wrong. Inside guy won. Doesn't matter, because we just blew past both of them. Ooh, stay off of him. There we go. Hello, Casey's General Store. Oh, I'm gonna low. Got on the brakes a little too hard. Almost lost it. That'd have sucked. Ow. Halfway. Mm, outside is going to move, I think. Oh, they got the whole track blocked here. Whoa. <laughs> Check me out. See, this is where it gets more interesting because there's... Oh, he slid up. There's uh, more cars. So, more bobbing and weaving and whatnot. 
I just really wish there was a difficulty setting because this is ridiculous. Oh, had to get off the gas. Then I smacked the wall. Oh, that's cool, Mr. Shots. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, no, that's not Shots. That's, um, crap. Uh, Craig Kenzer's in the 20 car. Steve's son. The king's son. So I guess the prince, if you will. Woo. They're racing hard back here. I mean, kudos to them, but still. Something I do like about this game, though, is the AI is not, like, mentally retarded like they are in the uh, NASCAR games. Like, if someone crashes, I'm pretty sure they try and avoid you instead of just, like, driving straight into it. Oh, he came up the track. That's no fun. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> Gotta wait for stuff to move. There we go. No yellow. I gotta admire that. No idea how far away second place is. Man, I gotta get off that wall though. Well, that was a lot of progress lost there, but don't think it matters in the long run. Just gonna finish off these laps here. Hmm. I keep um, locking wheels, like I said, you don't want to do, so check me out, being an idiot. Gonna take him on the outside. Oh, yeah, check that move out. Nice, clean pass. Hmm. I've got a song stuck in my head, so you're going to have to forgive me for the crap. See, that's the stuff I'm going to try to avoid with the voiceover stuff. Who knows, maybe in the next video I'll do a voiceover. But we'll find out next time. Oh, speaking of voiceover and stuff, not really voiceover, just audio. Um, on some of my NASCAR videos, this guy was like, you guys may have seen some of the comments, I don't know, saying he heard EVPs in the video, which I guess is like ghost talk on the videos. But if you guys hear any ghost talk, please leave me a comment. Maybe we'll hear some on this video. <laughs> How creepy would that be if it happened? Oh. But. Oh. Come on. Oh. -ho. Working my way through traffic again. Only two laps to go. I could just take it easy and ride around here. Um, but I'm not gonna. Whoa. White flag. That was, see, that was a solid bump. It was wheel to wheel. He got mad because it was hard, but still. A solid bump. Ooh, working that inside. And we won. Sweet action. Oh, good. Oh, uh, neat. <laughs> good times, good times. All right, so that was the first episode. Episode, episode. Coming in at eh, less than a half hour, so that's good. Oh, what have I done? Nay. I said nay. I meant yay. <laughs> yay or nay? Nay, yay, nay, 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 nay. Anyway. Okay, so next time we will go to the Speedway Accuracy Challenge. Dun, dun, dun. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. If you're uh, new to the channel and have not subscribed, go ahead and do that if you liked what you saw. If not, um, sorry, but, <laughs> but thanks for watching and you guys have a wonderful day.